doctor, give me the news, I got a bad case for loving you. <laughs> Alone in the lounge room with uh, fake clapping. Uh, it's great to be back fake. for uh, episode six. Who would know it's fake? <sighs> episode six, welcome back. I uh, hope you enjoyed episode one, two, three, four, and five if you made it that far through YouTube. Um, Super coach, getting very, very close. Only 11 days now till uh, that first round lockout. So, business end of the season as far as getting your team right. We've got some uh, tips and hints for you again. For you again. Uh, we've got a celebrity watch. Uh, coming up soon, and uh, another thing is to, between episodes five and six, uh, you notice there's a bit of a time gap there. We did a podcast which you can view through the Facebook page. So, uh, 25 minutes of absolute gold. You can download that one, listen to it on the radio on the way to work if you like. But uh, there's some uh, good up to date information on how the NAB Cup uh, players were progressing through there, and some of the ones that uh, that we saw as good potential pickups for your Super Coach team this year. So, um, let's get into it. Episode six. And, uh, yeah, as I said, we're not that far off. Now, on Facebook, um, you've posted on there that uh, you had caught up with a premiership player from, from last yes. year. So what's going on there? This better be that's good. That's true. That's true. Um, look, I had the opportunity uh, yesterday to catch up with uh, the man who won Geelong in the grand final last year, big Tom Hawkins. Tom Hawkins. <laughs> He's dropped the big name. Okay. Now, hang on, I've got the proof. So you look, caught up with him? Yeah, look, uh, there it is. Look at the picture. Isn't he? Doesn't he look crap? <laughs> How happy does he look to be standing next to me? <laughs> is he just loving it? But look, I, I don't like to, to publicise these sorts of things. Right. I sort of keep it you know, on, you on the quiet a little bit. But put look, it on Facebook. Yeah. Look, most look, the last probably four years, yeah. um, just before the start of the year, Tom and I sort of get together and right. have a bit of a chat. Okay. Um, and I just sort of you know, point out a few things I think you should be working on during yeah. the year. And look, I mean, look, last year for you know, for example, we um, you know, I, I sort of went into. In, in depth with him, um, I yeah. said, "Look, there's going to be a time, you know, during the season when, you know, what, you know, what if Pods goes down? Yeah. What if one of the other key forwards go down? You know, what are you going to do? I think this, and I sort of said, you know, that's going to be you know, time where you're going to have to take the game by the scruff of its neck. That was about this that was time it. last year. Yeah, okay. And look yeah. what happened in the and grand final. He, he listened to you about exactly, six and, and that's okay. exactly what we talked about. He did have a good grand um, final. Exactly. So we've, I've just had you know, another good chat with him. Yeah. All right. um, and you're yeah. going to put him in your super coach team, or no, just no, to I see? Won't do. <laughs> no. All right. No worries. He's a good player. But that, that's okay. Very he's a good player. Very, very, very good nice player. man, Tom Hawkins. Yeah. Very, yeah. very nice yeah. man. Well, he could end up in your team by the end of the year. You never know. You can trade up to him or something like that. You just never know how he's going to go. Exactly. Very good. Now right. we're going to get into yep. uh, top fives. Yep. We uh, let this go on Facebook the other day. We're going to have top our top five. We're calling them cheapies. Uh, they're under two hundred thousand dollar players. Um, they could be rookies, first year players, but often they're second or third year players. But they're under two hundred grand. We're each going to go through our top five, and we're also going to go through our top five uh, mid price players. So from your probably two hundred to four fifty bracket, not your uh, your premiums, but yep. they're the guys that are a little bit cheaper and could form you know the backbone of your side. Well, everyone knows, who the, everyone knows who the premiums are, and we asked yeah. for some feedback on uh, Facebook, and this is the feedback uh, that you're given. So um, yeah, now we're going to give Get people what they want. All right, how are we going to, are we going to do it? Are we going to count it down? It'll be a countdown. <laughs> and I don't know what you've done. People at home must be going nuts. You don't know what I've done. No, so I don't. I have no idea where so you're going with this. I don't know if we're this. going to be the same or different, but we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. All right. right you, you want to go first? I thought we were going to do a break there. And oh, okay. Cut. <laughs> right oh, we're on to our top five cheapies, the under $200,000 players. Now, this is the countdown. I'm going to start at number five. My well, number five cheapie for the year is... And I had a good look at him on the weekend. Brandon yep. Ellis from Richmond. Brandon Ellis. Yeah. Uh, he, he, look, he looks really good. He's, got, yep. he's a good size for a, a first-year player and look, uses the ball really well. And I think he's going to play a lot of footy across yep. halfback for Richmond. Only 135k. Jump on. Number four from the GWS. Sounds like the draft. <laughs> Number four, Devin Smith. Absolutely tore it up last week. Yep. Um, not the week. Just some big numbers. Four. Yeah. And, yeah. Dan Tazzy against yep. Hawthorne had about 27 touches. He's 131k and he's also listed as midfield forward so that's always handy. Uh, didn't play this week obviously having a rest but Devin Smith, my number four cheapy. My number three Stephen Clifton from GWS. Mm. Uh, had a really good game on the weekend, picked up 20 plus possessions. Um, he's a mature player I think we've said he's in his, he's, I think about 23. Yep. Liston medal, medalist. VFL background, absolutely. Um, so he's going to get a lot of game time yep. I think for GWS. Yeah. Um, this year, so at 130k, I think he's a ripper. Good call. Number two, 
the number six draft pick from last year, Chad Wingard from Port Adelaide. A little bit expensive at 171 grand, Oof. but I think he's worth every cent. He is an absolute star. You watch, he could be a. Uh, he's got to be tipped up at number six star. for a reason. Well, yeah, get on. Okay. Uh, 171 grand, a little expensive, but he's yep. going to be worth it because he's going to play every week, yep. especially because he's playing for Port Adelaide. Absolutely, absolutely. they'll need him. So uh, he's a ripper. Now, my number one. Jeez, I'm excited. I have no idea what's coming here, so this is great. My number one cheapy. Yep. James Magna ah, from Melbourne. Yes. There's been a lot of talk about him. Did appear to possibly get injured, but I hear that he's going to be all right. Um, and still in line to play run. Jeez, I hope he gets out of there because if he doesn't, he looks stupid. <laughs> but he's 94K, and yep. he could be. If he does get named at round one, and I think he's a dead set certainty yep. too, yep. he is the new Michael Barlow for this year. There you go. Um, so number one, James Magna the from Melbourne. Now, a little bit of a hand injury or something, but he should be right for round one. Power's just a dislocated finger, so I think he'll be all right. the time. Yeah. Happened to me this afternoon. Look, there you I'm go. Fine. Good stuff. All right. You want to hear mine? I do. Well, I'm, I'm sure everyone's just uh, absolutely holding their breath for this. Top five. I've got my iPhone here, so I'm just getting this out. Uh, have a look at this technology. All right. Number five. Number five. In the countdown. Magna. Oh, no. From, uh, yeah, the same. We've just spoken about him. Only and uh, Yeah, only number five. Ooh. And uh, from Melbourne, we've just spoken about him. So uh, get him in your team. Um, but, yeah, we're sure that he'll be, he'll be elevated. Jeremy Cameron. The forward from uh, GWS. He's on a list. He is yes. a, an absolute gun, 113 grand, and he's a uh, key position player now with Patton injured. This guy's pretty tall, and uh, he'll he's be. very mobile. Very mobile. He'll be groomed for this role. I'm sure he was uh, second in line for that centre half forward position or something like that when uh, Patton's gone down with injury. So uh, he will more than likely be a good cash cow for you and, uh, and get, game, get game time. So. Now, Timmy McIntyre from uh, Adelaide has made it in there. That's it's a uh, huge call. Yeah, 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 be a big call. What am I up to? Number three. Number three. <laughs> uh, a mid forward, so dual position player. 94 grand again. Uh, watch closely. Jeez. Hopefully he does, uh, and I don't know my words, but hopefully he does something. something. He's old enough too, and he's been playing well in the Sandfall. Uh, Brenton Brent Sanderson's giving him a good go uh, as well over the NAB Cup. He's got plenty of game time. So, uh, yeah, good player. Strong, and um, 94 grand. You can't go wrong. Just make sure he does get elevated before you put him in your team though and, uh, and check that out just before round one Jared Bowman the defender oh, from Hawthorne another shot, yeah there's one just to chuck in at 113 grand he's not a, look right. not a dual position player but geez at Hawthorne they really train him well to get their kicking skills right and, uh, and super coach you certainly get rewarded yeah. for uh, your disposal efficiency so uh, if he does play and, and get a game early on uh, might be a good downgrade target during the year but especially if, if with he Gillen. round one Gillen is still coming back still in Germany, so there's a spot there in the back line absolutely yeah. even on your back line Bench uh, in, in your Supercoach team, just uh, yeah, have a look at Bowman. And my number, number one, one pick is Adam Kennedy, Adam who's Kennedy. a, a uh, mid-forward, 113 grand again. Uh, he's a year older than the others at GWS, so that sets him apart. And uh, yeah, he, he's cheap and uh, just got that extra year playing for the Western Jets. So he played three years there and obviously uh, very, very well-groomed. Well uh, picked up early by the GWS. 80% disposal efficiency. That's so there you super go. Coach. Absolutely Rewards good for good super coach. And, and did I mention dual position player? So uh, there you go. There's my top five. Excellent work. That was different. It was. Which is good. So yeah. That means our punters out there have got uh, a few options. A few options all confused. But anyway, uh, there oh, you yeah. go. No, no, no. It's good info.